right, let's follow this trail. Let's see where they took him. Wait, we're right next to the... Is that the Thames? Oh, see, this is where the abductor must have come in. Did he lose his wallet as well? <laughs> Salisbury. Could that be the name of our man? A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. Then we're in agreement. Well done. Saltpeter. Sturdy rope. Professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. So wait, did they bring him here with the wagon and then put him on another wagon? Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahir's cart, I gather. I got it before Sherlock got it. So this was blocked by a wagon while we came here investigating the first place. We couldn't go this way. Wait, can I? Uh, can I use my magical eye? Reconstruct what happened here? Cigarette. What is that? Horse poop? A large pile of horse droppings. That's not how it looks. Usually there's not like a hole in the center. It's more like a pile in the center. Maybe he fell into it with his face as well. He just couldn't resist. Many cigarette butts. Someone stood here for hours. There was a cab waiting here. Our abductor slipped in and then off into the night. I got that before Sherlock. Hmm. <laughs> Who needs Sherlock when I got me, right? What do you mean, don't be an idiot? I can be whatever I want, okay? If I want to be an idiot, I'm going to be an idiot. But today I was better than Sherlock. All right, so this is a dead end on this side, huh? I hope we have all the clues. I'm gonna assume nothing much happened here. They would have had no reason to come this way. They wheelbarreled him out of here from the cart from under this roof. Can I reconstruct this now? Oh, the... Okay, so that's still... The scenes that I've uh, figured out. And he opened the door with the key. But we can't reconstruct anything. Maybe we don't need to, right? Right, Billy? Maybe we don't need to. Oh, wait. I can use my bat vision. There we go. Which was the first game that had this... This scanning button where you just scan your environments? I'm not sure if it was Arkham Asylum, or maybe it must have been something... something. Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed. You think you know someone. An older game. Yeah, that guy is a sack of garbage. Stenwick, that is a... I mean, we're not rescuing... Uh... We're not trying to find where they brought the guy so he can have his servant back. Yes, Stenwick is no angel, but he's one of my few clients. Please, try to remain courteous. Rescue him um, for his own sake. If he is rescuable, that is. All right, so what I'm thinking is... Um, wait, let's see if we have to talk to him again. I guess he's just going to be a jerk. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? 
Jesus Christ. Stop loitering. And go and do your job. My unpaid job, you cretin. It's not a job if you don't get paid. It is a hobby. I'm a crime aficionado. All right, let's look at all of our clues. <clears throat> There's some interesting clues. No, 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 no. Oh, those are the clues that we did before. Roy Salisbury. So what we can do, there we go. We go into our mind place or palace. Is it the place or is it the palace? Let's see how it's called. It's called... I don't know how it's called. One of the two. What are the notable features <clears throat> of the abductor? So, chewing tobacco. Features. Yeah, yeah, he's not gonna carry a sailor's knot around with him, but he's gonna, gonna have some chewing tobacco on him, probably. And he's going to have some saltpeter somewhere else on his clothes, on his shoes, probably. Now, what do we have here? The abduction, the footprints. We know his shoes. What is this? Captain Stenwick? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Footprint of an unknown person, size 11. There, I got it, guys. First try. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, calling card. And uh, sailor's not. He's a sailor. I'm missing one. Spyglass. Maybe he's like... Uh, He's a sailor that is like on the top of the mast, looking out, a lookout. A particular knot, a spyglass, and the footprints of a working man's boots. They all add up to one conclusion. Kimi Hia's abductor is a sailor. Sheesh, and I thought it was a horse. Where does Kimi Hia's trail lead? Um, yep, 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 yep. We got two blues. But why are these already connected? Where does Kimi Hia's trail lead? So, we got two blues. Wallet with saltpeter and calling card. And, uh... Clues. Abductor is a sailor. No, I've been missing one. It's a blue clue. Spyglass. No, we already know that. Sailor's not. The strand. Now oh, there we go. We know that Kimihia's kidnapper is most likely a sailor, that his wallet bears salpeter residue, and that there was a recent salpeter accident in the Port of London. Everything suggests that to find Kimihia, we must head to the Port of London. There's no time to lose. It is vital that we can find a cab to the Port of London immediately. I've said Port of London three times in a row. You gotta be kidding me with this writing, huh? <laughs> The strand proved not so useless after all. The salt peter the accident, cab. Doctor, do you recall? The port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab then. Is that a cab? Are you a cab? You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything you wanted to do here. Oh! Oh no. This is a really small map, coming to think of it. It's just these three houses. I mean, these, uh, you know, the bookshop, Baker Street, and uh, Stanwick's Manor. You know what? I have an idea. Let's just search the city here for any any specials, any stuff that we might find and use. And... 
Just walk around and search for stuff. It doesn't contribute to the story. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. To hell in a handcart. Chapter 2, The Blood Red Knight. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh. One kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps. Before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. The hydration set in. And things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. But without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes. But I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? The Cursed Mermaid. Oh, Sherlock can now ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press, uh, oh. Open the case book, select a piece of evidence. Uh, we pin it. And now we can ask people for it. Let's explore the surroundings first. Let's use our bat vision here. I remember this. I remember this part from the original game. released in 2007 can you believe it don't pay attention for a second and you're 59 years older <laughs> such is life are you able to help me as much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. Okay, sir. It has been a pleasure talking to you. <laughs> Who is this? Help me, please. It is a shame I can't answer your question. What is this place here? One, two... Could you help me? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Okay, let's have a look at the map. Harunsky here. Fast travel. The Cursed Mermaid. So we are currently here. Why are there these uh, colored lines here? We got a new attire. Does it rain? It still rains, so we'll just keep this. It just switched clothes. Did you see? This is not what I equipped originally. Here, I guess maybe we gotta go. Oh, Madame, could you help me? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. No, so the yellow dot doesn't mean anything, it's just if I uh, 
if I found it with my Sherlock Holmes sense. And then the clues become yellow for a bit. Pier 3. Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. You gotta smoke him if you got him. You just gotta smoke him. So maybe if you wanna stop smoking, make sure you don't got him and then you can stop smoking. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo! Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, but I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. Now, where was I? Uh, observe him. Good old Deroy. He's of average height. He's got the working man's hand. Many stamp ink stains. Oh, those are from, uh, from ships. Waltham Hillside, pocket watch, mint, solid gold. What do we have here? He's not the brawny. He's of English blood, around 5'5", five five, has an average build. His lack of muscle tone implies that he is hardly strong. Mr. Saltspit does not seem to look like him. He has abductor. His left palm bears several stamp ink stains. Some letters remain visible. Oh, he's the customs officer. He holds a brand new watch in his pocket. Only a corrupt customs officer can afford such a thing. Or he is a thief. He is of English blood. He's an average bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. He holds a brand new. He can never afford such a thing, so he may have stolen it. He's got to be an officer, right? He got the stamps. A thief wouldn't just have like the the customs stamps. Provide evidence. What are you on about? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. What are you on about? Have you seen this before? My card. Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. That's it. We Guess can't I'll do be anything. Work for a while. Anything more with him? Excuse me, Missy. Are you able to help me? No, sir. I've never heard of it. Do you know anything about this? No, sir. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. No, I've never, never heard of it. May I ask you something? No, sir. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Sorry now and no sorry. Missing person poster. Help. Girvesh is missing. Girvesh missing for a week. Please tell 
if you see him, ask Daya, Daya in Port Shantytown. Red rag over house entrance. <clears throat> the red rag. Seems more like a, a sexy house. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. The brothel with the red, red color, red light. Oh, this is where I passed before, okay. Let's visit the tavern. <clears throat> Let's try this fast travel out for once. Can I ask you a question? No. I can't tell you because I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell you because I don't know. What about you, weirdo, staring you know in through the windows? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. All right, I'm going to save at this point. Before we go inside. I have the feeling we might get in a little bit of a kerfuffle in there. I remember this pub as well. Oh, Sheesh. hardly a reputable establishment. I've seen worse. Mr. Meowsers. What is that? The exit again? Exit on the other side. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Well, it looks like we have to talk to the bartender, huh? Wait, does this door open? Oh, it's the back door. So this pub has three entrances. Do you know anything about this? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. Imagine that's your life. <laughs> then you know you made it when you're her. You know you've made it in life. Does he have another door? No. Okay, let's talk to the barkeeper. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in the ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. observe her <laughs> gonna stare at her a little <laughs> chapped lips vomit stains mm, morning sickness Is she pregnant or something a bit distended she's preggers Trousers are a little too tight. Mm, the barmaid is in the early stages of pregnancy, hence the light, slightly distended belly and point of hint of morning nausea. Chapped lips and the pale face. Um, she clearly does not yet know. Is she trying to hide it? How should I? How should I know? Unaware? Is she unaware? I don't think she's unaware. She's blowing up. She's getting morning sickness. She clearly has yet to know of her pregnancy as she keeps wearing her usual clothes, which are not now too tight for her. I'm saying she's unaware. Okay. Okay, madame, you are with a horse. Miss, what if I told you that you are in the family way? No, really? Oh, thank you, sir. How would I, a simple <laughs> woman, have ever known without your help? 
You must be a doctor. Oh, no. In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. <laughs> She's hiding her baby. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. All right, I can come up with some evidence. Never heard of it. She never heard of herself? Okay. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Never heard of it. Have you been drinking? Never heard of it. Are you familiar with a Roy Soulsby? Roy Soulsby? Hmm. I know the name. But he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Oh, what that's it. We're done. You can't ask anything else because we already got everything that, that there is to get. I've unlocked something. What did I unlock? We've unlocked some other clothes. Ooh, we got... Is that a pistol? A Cordona suit. This is what I was wearing, right? Sort of a traditional Sherlock Holmes attire. Alrighty then. Do we have anything else we want to pin? Character, character portrait. This is what we can talk about? Okay. Alright. So we gotta go to uh, Daya. The woman who's missing. Who's also missing someone. A red rag hangs over her house. And she's supposed to be in this area here. In shanty town. Let's look for the red rag. What is this house here? Are you able to help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Can I just walk in here? May I ask you something? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. What is this house here? It's... Oh, there we go. This looks like shanty town. <laughs> no, this looks doesn't look like it. This looks like a some sort of an industrial area. But only some sort of it. Could you help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Sheesh. Angie. Angie. Wait, I've been here. I've been here before. So I went this way before. Before I quick traveled. Sorry, I mean I mean fast traveled, which is something completely different. Fast and quick and quick and fast. Number two, so we're. We're at the warehouses, which is Shantytown and warehouses. So we need to go here. Oh, it's a very small area, this Shantytown. Uh, 
Oh, wait, I can just quick travel there, right? And... Voosh! There she blows. So, we're looking for... House with a red rag. Is that it? That's a red rag over there. She illuminated it too, so we know, uh huh, we can get a sexy time in there. <laughs> okay. Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. Do you still have the necklace that Solsby gave to Girves? Girves left it near the, um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Ama medicine, but... But no one wanted to buy... I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like, uh, like it was made of metal. The metal eye? Don't go anywhere. I don't think that works. Oh, we can have a look at this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like they are off. Uh... So this is, this is clearly uh, Christianity, right? Oh, this is clearly Buddhism. I miss Girves. Do you think he's okay? The Buddhist shrine here. We're missing one clue. Where could it... Oh, wait, I can move the camera. There we go. I got to move it, move it. I got to move it. Boom, 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 boom. So what are we missing here? Oh. Missing something. Oh. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Okay. So he got scammed. I should have helped Alma put out the posters. If she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she wouldn't be sick. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying. So what else do we got here? Nepalese boy. Oh, he's a Nepalese. I, I thought maybe. Because Nepalese are like half Asian and half of them are Indian. A pretty split population. And trust me, I know what I'm talking about because I have been there. Um, so we got to ask people for this. I'm sorry about my English. I try hard, but... His brother disappeared after Roy Salsby, a strong man with a metallic eye. Can you move out of my way? You cretin. Standing in the way of a master detective. What an imbecile. Help me, please. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. 
They just walk up to random people, help me, help! What, what do you need help? Do I need to call a doctor? No, I'm working on a case. <laughs> a case of insanity. Okay, we went back to the... What is it called here, this district? The warehouses. I wish it was the war, the whorehouse. That would have been... <laughs> would have been more interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe we have to ask... The guy at the pier again. can open it but clearly just have to this is a mechanical lock you can easily open sheesh could you help me i don't think anyone here knows the answer you should ask someone Hello, can you help me? Can you help me? me? Just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Maybe, uh, mind plays? No, this one is like, it's glowing when we can, uh, when we have all the clues and we can solve something. On the harder difficulty, it doesn't tell you that. So it's going to be a lot more stumbling around and trying to find out stuff, which can be fun, but it doesn't make a very good let's play, in my opinion. I'm already stumbling around too much with my, uh, my limited uh, talent for observation. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay, here. Uh, where's the other? It should be here. This guy here. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, I'm, I'm completely not where I thought I would be. Oh, there he is. No, I am where I thought I would be. What are you gawping at? Gopping at your horse face. Nepali boy's testimony. I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. I wonder why people are going missing. Hmm. Puts a man on edge, you know. He doesn't have a metal eye, though. Maybe somebody else is uh, pretending to be him. He is not big and he's not burly. We just established is that. This familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. What we can do is we can't talk to lots of people here, but we can go back to the the cursed uh, fish, the cursed mermaid. Ask her about it. The bartender, that is not the mermaid. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. That is not going to be possible, madame. Oh, we got the deduction of magic going on. Who abducted the Kimihia? So, oh, we got four. Wait, and three are blue? Blue, no, three are green. Four are three. Um, Roy Salsby. He didn't abduct him. Barmate didn't have that. Wait, barmate? No. So, 
yo, 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 yo. The man with the iron eye. What do we have here? There's nothing about the disappearance. Maybe we're missing something. Nepali boy's testimony. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what does this say? Was this an important woman repeatedly asking about this? She's wonderful. Hung. Hmm. What? What is that blue? Missing person. So we got the barmaid's testimony. We got the Nepali boy's testimony. We got the Roy Saltby's testimony. Let's see if this works. I don't think it's... I think we're missing nothing. I think it works. <laughs> Dirty Summers is Kimihia's kidnapper. It seems that Roy Salsby could be Summers' accomplice. And can we do this now? Let's go out of the place here. Oh, now it's not glowing anymore, so... Where is a Kimihia? Uh, let's see. Dirty Summers is Kimihia's pick kidnapper. Kimihia's pit napper. Roy Salsby could so we gotta talk to Mr. Salsby. Can we quick travel anymore? Excuse you. Ah, oh, because we're in a house, so we can't quick travel out of it. Sorry, I mean fast travel. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I keep confusing the two. Everyone knows it. They're two completely different things that have nothing to do with each other. Quick travel and fast travel, right? What are you gawping at? My bad. Let's confront him. Wait, uh, this is why, why is this red? Let me save the game before uh, something bad happens. Everyone knows the red is the color of love at? and violence, and we're not going to be making any love with him anytime soon. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What makes you say that? What is the crime and who is the criminal? Choose evidence. Gervesh is a missing for a week. How do I fit in all this? Sorry, you lost me there. What? Oh, you did it wrong. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. Typical of you. What makes you say that? I'm still trying to figure out how it works. So we got Kimihia's obviously disappearance. And how do I fit in all this? What? Sorry, you lost me there. What are we doing here? Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What makes you say that? You know more that you're letting on. Roy Soulsby. Soulsby's calling card. Uh Mother Day is also in Girvesh. How do I fit in all this? Sheesh! Sorry, you lost me there. Gee whiz, gosh darn it. Mr. dang nabbit. A man named Dirty Summers oh, was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. It means you're a horse. That's what it means. So we we, we got to follow what he's saying and then react to that basically. So now we got to prove that he's involved. I guess. Why does he have his uh, his calling card though? Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. <laughs> You cannot be serious. Just watch me being serious. Uh, and now what do we say? The 
This is the pendant he gave to uh, to 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 Girvesh. Present final evidence. Give me one moment. What? What? No, I have to restart. Mr. Sol oh my sheesh, and also oh my chong. So which one is it? Uh, Dirty Summers. Yep. And then we got the pendant. No, 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 no. I did it wrong. We got, we got the calling card. A man. Bam, bam, boom. And bam, bam, bam. And the final evidence is. He's a sailor. No. His mother is at the clinic. Disappeared. This involves Roy Salisbury with the disappearance of the brother of. Uh, of uh, the boy from Nepal, which, which name we don't know. It's got to be this one here. Boom! This proves nothing. Oh no! Sorry, you lost me there. You did it wrong again. Mr. Unbelievable. Salisbury, you know more than you're letting on. Sheesh. A man. Yo. Oh, this one is the. This one also implies. Okay, that that has to be it. This proves nothing. Sorry. I'm just testing you. <laughs> I'm just testing you. Maybe we don't have it. We tried the testimony. We tried. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Salisbury. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I use red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. All right, so we'll go to the mermaid first. I think we already, we already asked uh, the bartender about him, but let's do it again, and then we're going to look for the warehouses. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. How about I punch you in the stomach, huh? You think your baby's going to like it? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm going to punch you in the face instead. And then I'm gonna catch you if you fall. We don't want to hurt the baby. <laughs> All right, back to the case. What is the crime? Who is the criminal? So the crime is... I failed to follow. Not if this. <laughs> the crime is... Missing person and a sheesh. Why do I? The crime is. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? So, how is the bartender connected? Mr. Salisbury knows nothing. He admits he had 30 Summers business in one of the warehouses recalled. 
Summers frequently used the pub. A customs officer, Roy Salisbury, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. What is the bartender's secret? She's preggers. If the lives of the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Perish the thought. Uh, what is perish? That means uh, no. Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summers hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people. But I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key. Go and do what you will. Just leave me out yes. of it. Oh, yes. Got another room to investigate. And it's going to be the, the, the one door that did not open. This one? <laughs> uh, now it opens. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. What is that supposed to be? Is it like a... Looks like a shipwreck or something. Giant crashing. Strong men needed for moving crates in warehouse area. It makes me vomit. Looks like a plate with tomato sauce and the maggots. The Parker and Williams Co. -O Manchester. Yeah, uh -huh. Invoice for sale clothes. 50 crates. Those those are not sailcloth crates, are they, huh? They're crates with people. Five shillings. That won't go far. Salami. We got the salami. Fresh scratches. Deeply Strange carved. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. What else is there to look at? Well, that, of course. The job is to move crates in the warehouse area. Dirty Summers hires men in the pub's private room. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Dirty summers, uh-huh. Oh, we can use the mind the place. Don't mind me using the mind the place. So we got two greens and one gold and one, <clears throat> one observation. Where is Kimi here? Hiring notice. Invoice for sale clothes and barmaid's testimony and the Boom! And not the boom. And the uh, wrong boom. So what, that's a blue one or is it the green one? I can tell. It's a green one. A warehouse holding <clears throat> dirty summers has hired men for warehouse work specifically to carry crates of sailcloth the abductees could still be inside the warehouse which should be parked with red paint kimi he has whereabouts that's the only thing that we can pin right it's got the pin symbol the eye symbol the map symbol so let's go to the whorehouse. I mean, the where the, the the warehouse, which is a completely different type of house. 
you know, a house where the wares are not horse. <laughs> hilarious. Hilariously hilarious. It should be marked with red paint. I think we came across that warehouse before. Yeah, 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 there we go, the red paint. Lock picking, oh no. Skip, we can just skip it. Ah, oh, okay, so... Medium, high and low. Medium, high, and low. But the center is good. The first one needs to go a little bit more up. The last one needs to go a little bit more up, both by the same amount. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am a genius. I can solve children puzzles. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. 